it's the type of thing. It's the type of thing you you feel it before you can hear it. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, I mean it's, a, it's a it's a wonderful instrument to, to play. I mean, it's just a, it creates this wonderful kind of foundation and the and the and the piece where you and, and literally you, you can feel it as as well as hear it whenever you're kind of playing and the orchestra whenever whenever the contrabassoon is playing. Gives us lovely kind of fat texture as well to, to the bass section as well. So, uh, so it's a, no, it's a, and especially in, in this type of music and when it's outdoor in particular, it's, I mean, it's absolutely wonderful. I mean, it's a fantastic instrument to have. I mean, it's a very rare instrument as well. There's only about I think two that I know of, and certainly in this country and, and perhaps in Europe. So it's a, it's a, it's a pretty rare instrument. <laughs> Did did write for the the, the contrabassoon, so uh, but uh, it's a shame in the way. No, then a lot of Baroque composers just didn't. I mean, I suspect you know, part of the reason, literally, is you not know, how hard it would have been to find instruments. I mean, obviously there was one in existence that we knew about, but uh, and that instrument no wouldn't have travelled very far necessarily. So other composers probably would never have heard it or you know, never had the opportunity to write for it. But uh, which is a great shame because no, I think it does add a huge amount to the to this type of music. <laughs> 